In this short video, we're going to look at how to use the YouTube Video Manager. To do so, I want to click in the login button in the upper right hand corner and pick Creator Studio. Now, as I stated in a previous video, uh, there are various things you can do here, but today we're going to focus on Video Manager and specifically on the video portion of that video manager. So by clicking that it's going to list out all the videos that I have uploaded into this particular channel. Uh, the icon here will tell you uh, the sharing permissions you currently have on them. So this icon is telling me this is an unlisted video and I could change that. I could come in here and I could click that to a public video or a private video if I chose to do so. For right now I'll leave them the way they are. Now there are certain mass actions you can do on multiple videos and in order to do that I can check a couple of videos that I want to perform the actions on or by clicking this checkbox up at the top I would select all of the videos if that's what I wanted to do. And here, now here I can change them all to public or unlisted or private. So I can change the privacy level right here on all of them in mass. I can change the license from standard license to Creative Commons. I could delete them all. Or I could go to more actions. So if I look at more actions, uh, these are different things that I can change. So comments, categories, age restrictions certain things that I can do. But at this point I don't, don't want to make a mass change. So I am going to come to the right and cancel that action. Let me uncheck here. And you can also take one or more or all videos and add them to a playlist. Now these are existing playlists. If you wanted to add them to a list that didn't exist you would use the Create Playlist button. Type the name of the playlist and set its privacy level to the same um, one of the same choices public unlisted or private so I'll just say sample list Ooh, got some fat fingers there and say create now you can see that there's a sample list here and if I check the, check on that if I go to my playlists you can see the sample list exists and that one video I selected was in there Okay, now individually you can do various actions with uh, the videos. So if I click the drop down next to a particular video, I can get its information and settings, go to enhancements, audio annotations, cards, subtitles. These are all accessible in a different way that I'm going to show you in a minute, so I'm not going to go through them now. And you also have this option to download the file as an MP4. Now be aware that YouTube does have restrictions on how many you can download. I believe it's five videos in a, in a single day. So if you had more than that to download from your site, you'd have to stretch it out over a couple of days. This is also another location where I could delete a video if I no longer wanted it. Now in addition to this drop down menu, you can come next to a video you want to work with and simply hit edit. Doing so will bring up the video. It's going to show you some basic information about that video, including the URL, um, give you a list of how many comments, likes and dislikes, how many views, this is a link to the analytics section, and uh, other pieces of information that might be valuable. If you scroll down on the page, you're by default in the basic info tab. That includes the title of the video. This is where you could add a description. hopefully better than that. Um, it's also where you can add tags. So if this was a public video, it would be searchable. So I would want to include some tags in here. Um, this video is about Google Earth, so I'm going to add that tag. That was one of the suggestions. I might also just type in Google. I might type in geography or some other tags that might be relevant to a search on this. I've already changed it to public. You can see here that it's currently on two 
uh, two playlists, but I could adjust that here. I could, I'll could i see all my playlists, and I can check a box to add it to that list, or if I knew um, that I didn't want it in a list, I could uncheck that at this point. So it's a good way to manage that. Again, I could go through that same process of creating a new playlist for it, but I'm not going to do any of that right now. And there's also an advanced settings tab, and this is where you can control things like your comments. So if I uncheck this, people will not be allowed to comment on the video. Or I can leave it checked and change this to approved, in which case the comments will be held in a waiting area and you'll have to approve them before they go live on the site. The other option in this area is how to sort those comments. Would you like the newest one up on top? Or would you like the ones with the highest rating filtered to the top? Okay. Next setting, users can view ratings on this video. So if people are rating your video, do you want other users to be able to see that? Third option is a, a YouTube license. And by default, it's going to be a standard YouTube license. But if you'd like, you can change that to a Creative Commons license, meaning you're giving other people to use it, modify it, as long as they acknowledge you as the creator. Jumping down on the page a bit, we see um, some options here that you can enable or disable with a checkbox. One is to allow embedding. So if you want to allow your video to become part of a web page, someone else's web page, you check this box. Those people will be able to access the appropriate code to have that video load into their page. Um, there's also a checkbox for notifying subscribers. And as you can see, that is going to um, have your subscribers see all your videos on their home pages, in their email, in their mail, etc. Okay, there's an enable age restriction here, and if your if your content was something that was not appropriate for all audiences, perhaps it uh, needed to be, you know, someone needed to be a little older to see it, you could enable that. On the top of the right side of the page is a category drop down and this allows you to classify what general area your video would fall into so if it has to do with film and animation autos and vehicles in my case education uh, this will simply make your video a little more searchable and a little more organized you can set a video language i'm going to choose english and you can also add a recording date so if you simply click today today's date will drop in However, you can also click on the box if this was done at a different time and, and select the date directly. The next box is video statistics. The option is to make those statistics available to those people who, watch, who view you on the page. So if you turn that off, uh, the analysis is basically going to be available to you. However, if you click it, it allows other people to uh, to see a record of who's, you know, how many people have been watching and, and the other analytics associated with, with your uh, video. Okay, finally, the last thing that we're going to look at is a content declaration. And that simply says that this video contains a paid product placement or endorsement. So if you are advertising a product or trying to sell a service, you want to check that box. Otherwise, you don't need to or you shouldn't. Okay, when you finish making changes, you say publish. And once your changes have been saved, you can return to the video manager either by clicking it over here or by using this arrow in the upper right region of the page. And then you'd be free to do editing on other videos. Now, um, one other thing you can access from here is to come all the way over to the right and you can access the analytics information. So a series of things are going on here. The first icon would take you to the actual analytics section. And here you'll find how many views it's had, um, estimated minutes watched, average duration, um, lots of statistics. You can dig down further into these. Maybe we'll do another video um, to get into more detail on these particular items. Also on the right side of the page, you can check how many likes or dislikes you may have gotten on a particular video. And you can also access how your comments from here. And it will show you how many comments have been made on a particular video. Uh, so those are the basics of the videos section of the video manager.